Hi, this is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to design a typical base plate and anchor rods using ASDIP steel. In this example, we have a column. It's part of a moment frame and is subjected to these loads. A vertical load due to death, 20 kips. Horizontal load due to wind, 10 kips. And over turning moment due to wind, 50 kip feet. The column is supported directly on spread footing, 5x5x16. Five by five by the column is a W10x54, and the concrete F'C is 3KSI. So these are the numbers given in the example. We need to run the software to design the base plate and to find the loads on the anchor rods as well. When you open as it's still, you see this window. This is the project manager. From here, Click on the base plate and anchorage uh, uh, to create a calculation. Just uh, name it. Let's say an example. Add. So this calculation is added to the tree. Double click on the tree. And this is the typical uh, base plate and anchorage design uh, form. The numbers here are the default, so they don't mean anything to this example. We need to change them accordingly. So if from the information of the example, we know that the column is a W10 by 54. Let's input that. Click on the AISC sections. 10 by 54. The steel base plate uh, since the column is uh, 10 inches uh, dimension, uh, let's select that 18 by 18 plate conservatively to leave room for the anchor rods. From the example also, we know that the footing is 5 by 5. Let's input that as well. One half of 5 foot is to 6, 30 inches. each side and in the other direction as well 30 and 30 let's mark that the uh, edge distance is to two inches so we we are left with seven inches that's the rod offset so basically we see it graphically looks like this so we have a uh, a steel column 10 by 54 and four anchor rods with these dimensions so leaving two inches as a, a an edge distance so we are left with these dimensions shown there go to the next tab the uh, materials uh 3000 support is okay base place 36 that's okay uh, in this case we're going to use four anchor rods one inch diameter uh, grade 36 is fine, so in this this tab is fine. Now, in the loads, okay, we are given the information here. We are given the depth and uh, wind, uh, horizontal and, and, and moment. So we are dealing with a uh, load cases because we are given the depth and, and and so on. So we are using a nominal loads. And now we are presented with dead, uh, live, wind, etc. In ASDIP steel, you can design with uh, ASD or LRFD. Uh, in this case, let's use LRFD. The loads, 20 kips dead, vertical, so let's see, 20 kips dead. And we don't have any other dead load so zero and zero we don't have any live load here either in this example of course just to simplify the, the calculations but we have wind 10 keeps horizontal and 50 keep feet moment let's input that in wind 10 keeps horizontal 
and 50 kips moment. So we have the loads already there. If you click in, uh, at a glance tab, you're going to be presented with a uh, summary of the results. So you can see at a glance if the design is okay or not. In this case, we can see that everything is passing. Everything looks looks okay. Actually, the the maximum ratio is 82, which is okay, 82% of the full design. So we can say we can say that it's okay uh, the design. In the contents the contents uh, tab, you see the results again, but in more uh, detail. So you can see the the anchors. The controlling failure mode is, is the steel. The steel is failing, so it's a controlling uh, failure mode intention, and this is a, a, the controlling combination. In shear, again, the steel is controlling here. Let's go to the anchorage to fine-tune the numbers here. In the tension analysis, let's see what happens if we do not provide any reinforcement so that you know the ratio is still is still okay with reinforcement is 0.82 without is 0.85 which is okay so we don't need the reinforcement we'll we'll not use it in shear let's do the same let's uh, no reinforcement actually it doesn't have any 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 influence in the results so we don't use the reverse at all in, uh, in in shear either okay uh, in the detail tab you can see the calculations step by step with exposed formulas and reference to the code here are the design of the base plate and here is the anchorage design all these tension analysis you know the breakout pull out and so on and here we have the shear analysis the steel breakout and so forth graphically this is the base plate that we just designed let's go to the at a glance to see the bearing the bearing uh, stresses you know the, the ratio is 0.33 so in, in, in bearing we are okay and in, in the breakout of tension, we can see how the uh, ANC area for the breakout is calculated. And in the shear breakout, we can see how the AVC area is calculated for shear. These two areas sometimes are difficult to calculate for you know, you know, eccentric footings or, or narrow footings. So the program is, is very helpful in, in, in that as well. The base plate and the numbers can be sorted by load combination. You know, that depends on the calculation, the, the combination that you select here. Or simply the controlling, and uh, it shows you the controlling combination, which is 0.9 plus wind. So we can uh, conclude that these numbers are... are uh, are okay these dimensions that we proposed at the beginning so the, the base plate 8 by 18 by 18 uh, gives a good results uh, the thickness is 1.0 so one inch thick plate with four anchor rods one inch diameter they are working fine we can see the calculations in the reports in print preview the condensed report shows you the numbers that you we just checked you know in a very nice pre-formatted uh, layout of course you can print out all these and uh, uh, share it with your team and with your co-workers your plan checker with whoever you are interested or for just for yourself or your records let's check the detailed report in a similar way this is a pre-formatted layout shows all the calculations formulas and code references 
and all the graphics as well. And again, you can print it out as well. So, as you can see, the design of a base plate and uh, anchor rods is simple using as zip steel. If you have seismic load, in this case, we don't have any seismic load, but if you do, you can include the seismic provisions of the AISC and all these uh, factors uh, apply to, to this kind of design. In this example, we don't have uh, uh, any, any uh, seismic load. So, the design ratio is 0.85. It's a very good number. And we did, we conclude the design of this base plate and anchor rod design. Thank you much for your attention. We'll see you next video.